How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the next League of Legends video. We're playing some more Soraka support, and we are running a Scorch build because we're going to try out poking these poke champions, Janna and Varus. They're running Hail of Blades Varus, and we're running a Lethal Tempo Jinx. So, Airy, Mana Flow, Celerity, Scorch, Second Wind, and Revitalize. I lend my aid. I'm not thinking that we're going to have fun, but I'm going to try to make fun of it because I want to get Imperial Mandate. And then go Ardent Sensor after. So we can ramp up this Jinx aggressively as possible. Although, I don't know why I'm aiming for Janna, because Janna is the most mobile support. Well, Enchanter support, that is. With her passive movement speed. He's walking towards me. My bad. I'm making a mistake here and trying to match him. Okay, we got a Q on the Janna. Able to heal up Jinx a bit. Then we go put a ward down. Okay, you know, we could have kept autoing there with your movement. Eh, I guess you're trying to play it safe. Jinx players always play it safe early game. As well, as far as I see in this elo. Honestly, not that much damage was dealt this to Jinx there, path. considering that I can heal that. He's going for that melee minion there. Hit that, hit that, hit that. Thank you. Never waste a breath. Wave's coming to us. Mm, she's probably going to juke that, isn't she? No, she's just gonna trade me back for some reason. And you thought it was just a harmless breeze. Where am I needed? Okay, you shielded on a missed Q. Nice, we got a splash. Gracefully. Very good uh, use of traps there, Jinx. Get a splash, and I get to burn a potion. I think that's worth it. Now you really shouldn't be comfortable CSing at this rate. First An ally has Can we kill her? Mm, no. An enemy has been slain. No W Jinx. Double kill. I'll just throw an E just for the hell of it then. There we go. I'm just gonna hit the wave now. We're gonna get three points in our Q, and then two point, uh, and we're gonna max W after that for our Imperial Mandate. Decent shove. I wonder if I'm gonna get caught here. Jenna's not gonna move up. To heal and we'll get a boots protect. control ward and a glowing moat, but I'm gonna pick up a bandle glass mirror first if we have the gold going back. Or at least build the components towards it, I should say. I won't have as much poke damage as possible, but I do want movement speed since I have my celerity. For peace and of just mind. be able to try and outrun the Janet and the Varus if they try to chase me down. Every step, a new journey. Guess you just wait for it to freeze. Or let it freeze, I should say. Another E for another mana flow proc. And just step back and just play it safe. This oh, is my there's a Karthus here. A dead target. You know, he really shouldn't have been alone there. Yeah. 
There's only so much I could heal there with the ignite. But I think we'll take it. Well, if you want to push, why would you throw it at the uh, twist of fate? All right, we can go back. We're gonna wait for Jinx to come back, I should say. I don't really want to leave her alone in this next wave. We're almost level six. Gracefully. Get some free poke. Oh, he missed me with his uh his arrow. By the power of the stars. A little bit of poke. You want to try and get ease off uh, whenever you can because of your Scorch. I heed their call. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have hit that. I mean, Janna's backing, right? Okay, maybe that was not worth it. Rampage. Okay, he's not aiming for me there. The whole world in balance. Cloud Drake, if there's a plant I can stay. Just push this. I really should be getting my level 6. I don't know why I stepped away from that wave. I don't think I get it now, though. If I can just, like, soak one more minion of experience, unless this dragon gets it for me. Oh, I do get it on this. Okay, perfect. I'm just gonna hit ult us now before the uh, detonation hits. Because he does have Dark Harvest. The uh, Karthus. Every step, a new journey. Maybe just back now, right? There's a ward in this bush. Alright. There's our bandle glass into another glowing moat into Oracle Lens. We have a lot of CDR right now at 15. Pretty much the same amount of CDR shoes, but with ability power. And a little less movement speed. Camille's 0, 0 and 4. So they've been getting a lot of fights with Graves' top side. Nas is two deaths. He's going to be scary if he ever gets ramped up. But what's good about this build, too, is that our um, Imperial Mandate will do 10% of current health. So if we start fighting the Nasus and engage with the Imperial Mandate, we'll be dealing a good chunk of damage to him. Where am I needed? Uh, Grubs are in 45. Not much happening over in mid lane here. There's a ward back there, but it's almost dead. There's no other wards there showing. Looks like Camille might be dead. An ally has been slain. Let's get moving speed to get out of here. We don't want to give Karthus anything. I think we just get Grubs now, right? Just 
Just get grubs. Heart is gonna be coming. I lend my Man, nobody listens. I can't even ping that. There we go. Hit the tower for a bit. And we get a plate. A very nice juicy plate. Okay, we just block the path of Varus so that we don't get run at. And we just ult again so that we don't get Dark Harvest procs for this uh, card. He's only got two. We don't need him getting more. To heal and protect. Kraken Slayer and 348 gold for Jinx. I would love to get a kill on her, but they're playing very safe. And we shouldn't try and push anything because we're Jinx Soraka. Okay, at least we dodged that. Okay, I forgot that cleanse doesn't stop the uh, chain root thing. Are we good? We need a hundred gold for our uh, mandate. I think I'm going to wait for it. We can just watch what's happening on the rest of the map. And while you're here waiting, why don't you guys just drop a like on the video? I mean, you do like Imperial Mandate, right? You like, do like Soraka, and you like her dance, right? <laughs> but yeah, this Imperial Mandate will help out with Jinx Chase, because... She'll have um, movement speed, 25% movement speed for two seconds. And it has to be ally champion damage. It can't be my own damage to start it. They have to detonate it on their own. It's true. For only two ninety five a minute, Never I will leave you breathless. Janna endorsing prostitution. Where? 295 a minute, that's a high rate. That's a Cloud Drake for us. Or an Ocean Drake, I mean, we have a Cloud Drake, but now we're getting an Ocean Drake. Gracefully. Ooh, excuse me, on top of that. Don't mind me, I've just been very fatigued lately. I don't know what came over me. You know, I really wanted to get some kills, but Jinx has been playing very safe and passive. And that's why and I put, picked up Scorch. So that I can help her with, like, generating a lead. But I guess it's okay. Why? Because it still made them scared and nervous to fight us. Oh. An enemy has been slain. An ally has been slain. Well, it's a dead virus. I'll take some of this farm as well. Where are you going? You could have turned that right around. You know that, right? No, oh, there's a twisted fate down here. 
Lame. It's boring. Every step, a new journey. Unfortunately, the Rift Herald charge did not go as planned. But... This is my path. We still are in a good position. What I'm upset about is that the, um... Oh, they're just dodging my damage, huh? Wait, Jinx? Why'd you go that way? Why would you separate at all? Oh. I wanted that. Oh, we're going to work on Arden Sensor as our next item. Did he know that Galio was there? Or is he just hesitant on face checking? An enemy has been slain. An ally has been slain. Yeah, I should have been there sooner. I just wanted to push the wave in. But I guess it doesn't matter. I should have saved my teammate. I don't know why he's taking these fights. I don't know what's happening. But I need to be paying attention a little bit more, shouldn't I? Nice, got his flash. I'm glad my presence gave you the confidence to do that. Go back and get a fairy charm, get wards again, heal up, and get ready for this infernal drake. Excuse me. Lend my aid. We only have 96 damage on our um, Imperial Mandate, and the game I just did a moment ago. I had a lot more um, damage. Okay, at least Nas uh, whoever that was is gone. Was that Twisted Fate or Varus? Um, I'm dead, huh? I didn't burn anything, because I knew I was just straight up dead. We're doing a lot of damage, but we're not executing anyone. I do have my ultimate, and I'm back up in 8 seconds. Oh. Galio's full AP, huh? Jinx should be alive still. Guys, are we pushing a little too hard here? Why don't we just leave? You know, those infernal cinders are uh, doing a lot of work for the enemy team. This is my path. I know that I died in an unnecessary position, but like. I don't know why my team overstayed there. And am I grazing him died in Nasus? I guess it was fix the wave. Shut down. What must be done? I've heard fully if Galio has been very nice. That's twisted fate in there. 
Uh oh. I don't think they're actually doing the Baron right now. But I'll go drop a ward on it as fast as I can. And see if I can help Galio against this Nasus. He doesn't even need my help. I'll just take this ward out and then go back and heal. Is Camille fighting someone? They can start it. I have Baron, um, ultimate for Baron. I don't have it right now. It's in one second. Alright, at least she's able to get out and be able to heal. There's no Leandries yet. No, he does have Leandries. Gonna heal Galio as much as I can. Camille? I did slow the uh, Nasus. We just don't have the HP regen for the Baron and them. We need to kill first. Just three for two. I did want to save some gold for um, Forbidden Idol before anything else. Somehow I'm kind of thinking that this isn't worth it, depending based on how my team is playing. Like they're they're a slow composition too. Like they're not like moving around too fast outside of Janna moving speed and the uh, Shirelias. They don't have dashes. We've only done 235 bonus damage with the Imperial Mandate. It's just my team is playing so awkwardly. Like, it'd be so cool if we just had, like, Camille and Galio CC to layer on each other. I lend my aid. Just get that burst damage to follow up with Jinx moving speed. I'm level 9 to Jan is level 11. How's this happening? Can we get out of here? We got out at least. Which is the most important thing. I'm not going to go for that because they have a lot of bursts over there and there's like four players there. If we just stay alive, we'll be okay. And Galio is pushing bot side too. Which is quite helpful. Of mine. Oh. That's a lot of people. I'm gonna try and put a ward in there so we can see. I'm just gonna heal from back here. Because if I take any massive damage, it's going to be my death. Uh-oh. Jinx is dead. Graves didn't die, at least. This Infernal Drake should be ours. As much as I wanted to play into the... Get as much poke as possible, they were all grouped up there, and I was taking lots of damage. It wouldn't have been worth it, so I had to stay back. My silence was in the tri-bush, though, which did disrupt them a little bit. And I think it did help with the ramping. Uh, Jinx up. Where am I needed? I'm glad that I'm using my ultimate to negate Cart the Salt, though. That's one good reason as to me being here. Gracefully. Am I dead? No, it's on graves. But I'm here. Oh, what just hit me? That hurt, whatever that was. I have Ardent now. 
So now Jinx should pop off. At least more than before. I don't have any control wards. I don't have the money for it. Choice of Fate isn't over on the Baron. So that doesn't give me a reason to believe that they're all going to be on it now. Is there any vision on it? Now there is. To heal and protect. Let me just take out these wards. Mitigate their vision as much as possible. I feel like we can go for the Baron. What are we going to do instead? Are we just going to fight top lane? Like bait them and think we're up here? No, I mean, we're not baiting anymore since we're pushing wave and showing ourselves. I'm not using ultimate here. I'll use it now. Oh, I thought Camille was still fighting. Nope, she is. And she won. Your team has destroyed a turret. What's the thing going on? Neither of us. He's going on Galio. We can try and help Galio out here. Oh, he's just leaving. Okay. I'm just gonna pull by a Kindle gem instead of anything towards like another Band of Glass Mirror, just because I want to have as much value as possible. Where am I needed? And the extra health will be nice. Forty seconds until my ultimate. I feel quite strong, even though these fights have been awkward. Like, I'm not struggling to help my team, even though I'm not a Moonstone healer right now. It's like, we're just, we're just useful in our areas. Well, that wasn't me. Just go to silence out there. Uh Oh, they converge. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. We didn't end here? I mean, I guess so. I guess we just take this and win. <laughs> what a weird game. I don't even know what to say. Like, I was 0-2-11. Like two levels down from Janna earlier in this game, and then we just ended up controlling objectives without having to do anything too crazy. Um, I guess I give it to Jinx. GG's. A game. Yeah, we didn't really do too much. Seven thousand seven hundred thirty-nine gold, two hundred two and eleven, four thousand five hundred twenty-five damage dealt. The one thing that we did was we negated the Karthus ults as best as we could. Only the 12,942 damage in a 29 minute game. Or healing, I mean. Healed that much. Total of 20,000 healing. Wasn't the best build. I mean, we could have definitely gone Moonstone or Redemption first item if we weren't going to be able to poke as much. But we still had some good stats despite the um, lack of fighting that we had. So it worked. I mean, like, some, some games are like that. We don't have to force ourselves to do anything. We just need to be present and be able to use our kit as best as possible. And I think the turning point for our victory was in that fight at the last dragon. Because um, it, it was kind of like an even game. But then once they we saw four of them in that bush, I dropped a ward in there, made it easier for us to see. And then uh, through my E, so that they were disrupted in their spell casting and movement... I think I even got one or two roots off, which enabled them more bonus damage. And, um, yeah, it was just 
good from there. We even had 82 vision score to the Janus 67, which I'm a little surprised about that. I thought I would have um, less vision score than her with her movement speed. But yeah, I mean, just another standard game. Um, a little bit more patient than the other ones that we've seen, especially since that we're always the aggressive ones. But I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to drop a like if you like the video. Drop um, a comment if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Subscribe if you want to see more Sorokin gameplay or other supports. Feel free to even let me know what supports you'd like to see, if I can try them. Um, I may not answer every single one of them, but I'll try to at least get an idea of what I could do next. And... Um, Check out the Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash Nazan underscore Monday through Wednesday, Friday and Saturday at 12 p.m. Pacific time. And I shall see you for the next video. Adios.